determine the rise or fall from one point to the next. So I'm going to go to, to go down to be on the same line as this point. One, two, three, four, five. And that's going to be in my numerator, the negative five. It's a negative because it was a fall value. If it was a rise value, it would be positive. And then I'm going to determine the run. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be my denominator, step four. And I have my slope. Woo! That's all we have to do. That's it. That is so easy. That's how you find slope from a graph. But the catch is, if you don't do them, rise or fall, and then run, there's a chance that you would get them in the wrong place in your numerator denominator, and then you don't have the right value. Right? So always do rise or fall first, and then you will always be running to the right. Run right. Okay? So let's do the next one. I'm going to go up one. So that's going to be my numerator. Got my color coding going. Who doesn't love the color code? Yep, so this is positive because it's a rise. So it's a positive number because I have to go up to get on that same line as the next point. And then my run value is 3, so that's my denominator. And I've got my slope. Yeah? Yes. Next page. We've got our rise or fall. Nope. Negative two. And our run, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is where it gets a little trickier because this can be simplified. What is it? Negative one-third. The reason we do the rise or fall first is so that you have the negative in the numerator. If it's going to be negative, that value should be in the numerator. And it's going to make more sense when we start using the slope to plot more points. So? So, how would you know that, uh, which one do you, are you supposed to start on? Because, are you, are you always supposed to start on, like, the... Farthest left point. So the furthest left point, you rise or fall, and then you're always going to run to the right. Uh. <laughs> right? So, the, the, so that what we did on the other page, the point the furthest to the left, I had to fall to get down to the, be on the same line, and then I ran. Right? For this one, I went up, and then I ran. Right? So you do rise or fall first, and then you run, right? So think about it um, like like if you're going to use a ladder, right? You have to like raise it up before you can like put it towards the building, right? Yeah. Like you're not going to run with it. Does that make sense? So like think about it like you have to go up and down first and then you would run, like lean it towards the building. Yeah? Yeah. 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 It's kind of abstract, but I think it works. Okay. Last one. So because this is on the furthest left here, I'm going to count up and it's going to be a positive numerator. So I've got eight is my rise, and 6 is my run, which can be simplified, 4 thirds. And we're not going to turn into a mixed number, we leave it as this simplified fraction, because you might need that to then create another point in which you would go up 4 over 3, up 4 over 3, and continue that going. 
Okay, now we're going to go and uh, I'm going to give you guys some rulers, and you're going to go back and connect all those points. I'll help you do that in a minute. I did not, but let me tell you something. I, I hung out with him for quite a bit because my family's out of town. They all went to New York because I love because they are on winter break and I'm not. And I kind of like set it up like, hey, don't you guys think you should just go? I mean, I'll stay at the state back, but if you can go without me, it's been magical. Wait, are you going? No. Nope. Nope. Yep, they drove on. They drove Friday night. That was another thing. Oh, okay. Just hold on to it. So everybody got one. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So they drove overnight Friday and they come back Thursday. So it's just me and my doggo. What are they doing? Oh, I think dropped. It's been like really cold. What What am I doing? No. What are they doing in New York? Like going to shows? Um. Well, the city's kind of shut down right now. Like, even the Rockettes isn't, like, they probably would have gone. But they're just, like, they went roller skating yesterday. They're, they went and saw some Christmas lights. They're going to go to a museum. They're in Albany, so. You want to go to New York? Well, a lot of things are shutting down because the COVID is, uh, like, there's rising. The numbers are increasing because of the new variant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, yep, and it would be two over one. Okay. Yep. Can we go all the way up? Oh, yeah. Like, can we go, like, all the way to the edge? Yeah. Or, I mean, you don't, you can, you don't have to. Just connect the points. Okay, so we've got our lines. We found our slopes. And now you guys are going to do these, these next two pages by yourself, counting, simplifying. You don't have to color code if you don't want to. I did because I think it looks pretty, but, you know. I'll give you just a few minutes to do that. Oh, my gosh. I can't. Mm -hmm.